to a video. Action! In this all-wheel drive Miata video, we are gonna be getting the car running and cooling. That's the important part. Today, we're gonna be doing the cooling system. Now, this is not a normal, ordinary cooling system where we just plop a radiator up front, put on some rubber hoses, tie in some hose clamps, and uh, apply some fans. No, no, no. Now, this cooling system is the first ever rear mount radiator on the channel. First ever I have to build, so there's gonna be a lot involved. We have to mount the radiator in the rear. We have to wire up the fans. We have to do all of the lines, so uh, we're doing all AN lines from the front all the way to the rear. We have to install an electric water pump to aid the factory engine water pump. Point is that we have a lot of stuff to do and a lot of parts to install. So let's check out those parts here. So we have a race ready Mishimoto dual pass radiator. This thing is a really, really beefy radiator, but yet it is still small and compact, so it'll fit in the Miata trunk. With that, we've got a pair of race fans, 12 inch, which are really big and really beefy. So these will really help flow some air in the back of the car. We've got some Dash 16 AN hose and a lot of Dash 16 AN fittings, weld bungs and stuff. That's all from Finish Line Factory. And over here, we have an electric, tur I mean, uh, an electric water pump. Look at this little baby turbo. All this stuff is really, really cool. And I'm excited to install it all. Thank you to Mishimoto for providing the cooling stuff and huge thank you to Finish Line Factory for providing the, uh, the AN lines and such. If you guys use code GINGIUM on Finish Line Factory, you get, I believe, 10% off. And Finish Line Factory has literally every type of AN anything you need, so check them out. And of course, Mishimoto has every type of cooling thing you need, so check them out. Definitely a huge thank you to both of these companies for supporting the build. Now, GINGIUM, why the heck are you putting the radiator in the back and not up front? Front mount radiators are more efficient, they're easier to mount, they're easier to work with, they're cheaper, <laughs> they're just better. But here's the thing, there's not much room up front. That's number one. But secondly, that super motor is sitting pretty far forward. So an attempt to balance out the weight distribution, adding the radiator back here and all that water, because the water's the heavy part, that will help balance out the weight distribution. I also won't have to worry about getting rocks or such in the radiator. Without any further ado, let's start cutting out this trunk and get that radiator in there. Radiator is now mounted. As you can tell, it's a little bit off center so that the fittings on this side cleared the frame rails, but it fits in there nicely, bushings on the bottom, so it's in there stiffly, but it's not going to uh, crack or do anything like that. Next step is to attach those fittings, mount the water pump, and then run all the lines.
unfortunately, UPS decided today would be a good day to deliver my package late. So we're gonna take a short pause from the cooling stuff and work on some of the intake stuff, which ironically is still Mishimoto stuff. So instead of putting the intercooler right here, we're gonna move it back and put it over here. That way the hood scoop is in a better location. It'll help with heat soak because it won't be right on top of the engine and it will look cooler. We're also going to relocate the air filter from right here to right here. Before we do that, actually, <laughs> we should mount the power steering stuff. Intercooler mounted. I actually never noticed, but the intercooler is offset a little bit from the center. So the, the intake is on the center, as you can tell, but the majority of the intercooler is on that side. Now, surprisingly, this intercooler actually clears the hood, but the blow-off valve doesn't. We're gonna be adding the blow-off valve on the charge piping. Speaking of which, let's do some charge piping. the intake now it can't come straight off because it'll hit the headlight doesn't have room for the math I got a 90 degree bend to place it like right here but the problem is that in order to leave enough room for the math it would have to be like way back there which is right next to the turbo so we're sucking in turbo heat so either I can get a 45 and place it kind of right here which is above the tire but you no know, it's a filter and if it's got a the, the one of the, the water guards it should be fine or I could try to get a 180 and place it right underneath the bumper kind of over here I'd have to extend the math wiring. So let me know what you guys think. It'd be kind of cool being able to see the, uh, you know, the intake right here, but it, it would get some water on it. But I think it'd be fine with a special filter, but I, I don't know. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it chilling right here. So that way at least the math is plugged in. And the reason why we need the math is because even though we're not using it for the tune, it is still the intake temperature sensor. So I guess I could just get an intake temperature sensor. Hmm. So everything up here is ready to run. All the intercooler charge piping's done, the power steering reservoir is in there, and the lines all ran. Big feed to the pump, return, and high pressure. I also went ahead and got the stock Miata throttle cable working with this cool little pulley thing. It actually works really well. That's all good. I did some vacuum line running. I also ran the big line for the brake booster, which kind of looks funky, but hey, that's what happens when your engine's you know, so far forward. Unfortunately, we are still missing a couple of hose fittings for the cooling system. What I'll spend my time doing is wiring up the fans and wiring up the water pump. So once we do get those fittings, We'll uh, get it all running and actually cooling. But just an FYI, you won't see that in this video. We're just gonna wire things up and that's gonna be it.
the fuse panel mounted in there. So it, it's got the fuse panel there and then a bunch of relays for the fuel pump and the two fans and the water pump. So that's gonna be awesome. I was started, started doing the wiring and then I ran out of solder. So with that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. Didn't get what I had intended to done, but I did get a lot done. You know, the entire engine base stuff is all done. The radiator is mounted. Some of the lines are done. The uh, electric turbo is mounted, the water pump. Even though we didn't get to finish the cooling system and fill it with water and let it run, we still got a lot of progress done. In the next video, we will finish the cooling system, mount the fans, make a shroud, get the fans working, the water pump pumping, get all the lines ran, and the coolant in the, the, the system. Then we will start the engine, bleed the coolant, bleed the power steering, make some axles. I feel like I've been saying that for the last couple of videos that we were gonna get it running for a while and drive it, but um, next video <laughs> is legit. And of course, if you wanna watch that video right now, you can head over to Patreon, come on Patreon and watch it. Thank you all for the support everywhere on Patreon on YouTube. It's awesome, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys can tell that I'm really, really putting all my work into this thing, putting a bunch of effort into it, trying to get it done as fast as possible and as well as possible. Hopefully you guys aren't too disappointed that we didn't finish the cooling system today. I'm sorry, I do apologize, but. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Peace out, have a great day. It's the weekend. It's only the weekend for the patrons, because when the patrons see this, it's Friday. When normal people see it, it's Monday. So it's actually the week for you guys. Oof, that's gotta hurt. So, sorry guys, you know, you only got five more days until the weekend. <laughs> Oof. <laughs>